It's Bill Abrams, CEO of ADM Securities, and myself, Alex Suslov, Head of Capital Markets at AD Mortgage, here with you for our AD Digest. Hello, everybody. Hello, Alex. Hi, Bill. We see conventional 30-year fixed Freddie Mac rates haven't moved much since last week. They're stable at 5 spot 3 percentage. Non-QM rates are at approximately the same levels at 7 percent average non-QM rate on the market. But yeah, Alex, um, the markets have been volatile since the last time we sat here and had a discussion. Um, yields, um, we, a after having the best rally we've had since the beginning of March, 100 basis points ago, uh, a lot of numbers came out that were market friendly, but then the biggest number of the last week was retail sales. And it showed much higher retail sales numbers than were expected. And it, uh, the markets immediately gave back two thirds of their gains. Uh, but they also immediately reversed. It was five minutes after the numbers was the high yield after retail sales. And by the next morning, we printed uh, new lows for the month, new low yields mm -hmm. for the month. Uh, so the treasuries are in both the biggest and the longest lasting correction they've been in since March, 100 plus basis points ago. Um, and all that's good. Um, I personally question whether the retail sales number was actually meant that much because number one, I think it reflected higher prices, not necessarily more sales. And number two, a day later, most of the major retailers reported very disappointing early earnings and, and it resulted in a terrible day in the stock market. So. Um, so we're about where we were as far as yields go. They're almost exactly where they were the last time we sat down. Treasury yields from the two-year out to the 30-year. Uh, so not much happened with regards to yields. Alex, as far as the markets go, I mean, I, I see us being in a, in a recovery mode in terms of uh, uh, seeing the Treasuries rally a little bit from here. And, and whether spreads widen or not, uh, they'll still follow the Treasuries down in mortgage rates if, if they go lower. My concern is what would prevent rates from dropping too much is with five Fed meetings between now and the end of the year. Fed funds are at 1% now, a quarter of basis point hike at each of those, 25 basis point hike at each meeting would get us to two and a quarter Fed funds. Throw in a couple of 50s, which the market expects, we'd be 275 on Fed funds. Mm -hmm. That's about where the five year and the 10 year are today. That kind of makes you wonder if, they've, if there's not a floor. Um, I think we could see yields on the five and 10 year get near the 240s, but it probably has to happen pretty soon and they'll probably start back up. Uh, the key is, for the Fed is that the economy doesn't slow down. Signs of economic slowdown could, uh, could get them in a box in terms of continuing to raise rates, but right now we don't see that. Absolutely, and we see with conventional rates going higher, it's getting harder for borrowers to qualify for conventional loans, and uh, this steers them to non-care market. Overall, we're not the conference, we saw more traction for non-QM loans from investors, which is good for our industry. We're offering a wide range of products today. Bank statement loans, PNL loans, DSCR loans. A lot of borrowers are doing DSCR loans. Those investors um, whose DTI may be too high with a conventional 6% uh, rate would be switching to non-QM and getting their loan with non-QM lenders. So that is a good thing for, for the industry. And there continues to be uh, a shortage, short supply of houses on the market, and, and uh, the housing prices are staying way up, and that too will feed the, the non-QM market. So going forward this week, uh, the, the numbers that matter, as I see, we, we will get, uh, we have uh, minutes to the last Fed meeting are coming out in front of us in the next week. And that could, that could be revealing as to what they're thinking internally, although, again, we know what the Fed's doing and what they're thinking, and now it's just a question of whether the economy holds up. Um, we do have durable goods coming, and we have preliminary GDP, which I think are important. And one, one more thing to uh, mention on the markets, we have um, an early cutoff for trading on Friday this week due to uh, the uh, Memorial Day holiday. Correct. So guys, make sure you lock your conventional and jumbo loans before 2 p.m. For non-QM, we're open for locks 24-7. That won't be an issue for non-QM loans. Excellent. What about uh, any, any new products, any new webinars coming up you want to address? Uh, we'll have a session, uh, a couple of webinar sessions. Uh, on May 24th, we will be talking about bank statements, the ease of use of the business and personal bank statements for 12 or 24 months. And on May 31st, uh, we'll have a webinar on CPA, p &L program, and how to qualify for those, how to calculate income and get your loan through. Excellent. Sounds all good. 
Thank you, everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone, for being with us at AD Digest. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.